It's Turtle Path. Now, this is the only way to island hop. Forget about taking a boat, just run across the back of some inflatable turtles and some random yellow things to reach the chosen destination. Like so many games that have gained global popularity, this one requires speed, balance and an ability to avoid capture by a pirate. The general reminding his troops that whatever they think of this game, they can all agree on one thing. It's better than Pirates of the Caribbean. Dumb will take the maiden voyage on the turtles. And he titanics. Lucky hit an invisible iceberg. Never mind, Dumb isn't going to waste his shot at fame. And like the Titanic, that's not gone down well. It's a no from me. Tan goes next, demonstrating the slow and steady approach. Now that has a success rate in this game of precisely 0%. Like DVDs and Prada handbags, she's going to be easy pickings for the pirates. Here he comes, and there she goes. Someone's keen to get this over with. This is the most impressive running I've seen that hasn't resulted in a positive urine sample. Whatever coffee he's drinking, I want one. Meanwhile, out at sea, another potential pirate victim. He had better watch himself. Pirates love their booty, that's all I'm saying. But he's made it, and crucially, his booty is intact. Back on the briny, we have a shipwreck, and our pirate gets the booty call. This time, the contestant's not going to be so lucky. He gets boarded, or should that be waterboarded? Still they come, and still they go in. Next to face the turtle test is Sue. Off she goes. And she's staggering from turtle to turtle like she'd had a bottle or two of grog before she set sail. Looks like this is going to be another slam dunk for our pirate friend. Yeah, what a day this has been for the Yo-Ho-Ho -ho community. But he ends up slam dunking himself. So our second pirate gets his first outing of the day. He's what you might call a pirate copy. Oh, and he goes down, leaving Sue to make it home. Eventually. Well done, Sue. 